Hey guys, in this week's session we're going to be focusing on our oblique muscles by using bending and rotating patterns and also working on defining our arms. Okay guys, the first exercise we're going to do, you need to grab a weight plate and we're going to go into a lunge with a rotation, like so. I'll show you that from the side as well. So, lunging forward and rotating outwards. Okay, grab your plates and give it a go. Okay, Jay, we're gonna go for around about five each side, all right? Okay, okay let's go. Come down nice and low, rotate outwards. Breathe in, breathe out on the way up. Yeah, Jay, as low as you can go. Excellent. That's it, just keep it nice and upright. Good. Changing over. A bit keen today, Sis. I'm really keen today. Okay, in your own time. <laughs> Coming down. One. Good. So just keep it nice and upright, guys. Keep those shoulders back, chest out. So try and not turn your feet out, Sis. So just keep your foot forward. That's it, knee over the toes. That's better. Okay, and um, relax, fantastic. So if you'd like to put your plates down, grab the flexi bar. And we're gonna go into this position. If you outstretch your arm to the side like so, stretching the pecs and toning the back muscles, we're then gonna lift your leg slightly off the floor and shake the bar like so. If you feel a little bit off balance, which I'm sure you will to start off with until you get used to it, you can put your toe down. But the idea is trying to lift that foot off the ground and be confident with it, okay. All right, Suze, let's see this in action. So if you'd like to set your timer for 30 seconds. So if you slight bend in your right leg, okay. And then arm back, and then get going, that's it. If you feel a bit wobbly, just find a place that's good. Some people prefer the foot in the front, some to the back, some people to the side. Just trying to find a position that's good for you. So really give it some welly as well, Suze, that's it. Good. Excellent. Good, Jay. Also, guys, want to really try and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Okay. Okay, guys, 10 seconds left. Just a few more seconds, Suze. And five seconds left. And relax. Excellent. Okay, change legs, change hands. And we're going to pick up from here. All right, let's go, Jay. If you want to challenge yourself even more, guys, you can put a little lean into it as well. And really engage the oblique muscles as well. Or also, if you want to get a bit more of a leg workout, you can bend down a little bit more of the front leg and hold it there like JR's doing. Okay, and 10 seconds left. Good, Sue, just playing it safe there. You don't want to go down too low or anything. You're content. Five seconds more. Keep it going so it's nice and steady. So a few more shakes and relax. Brilliant, well done. Okay guys, keeping with the flexi bar, I'm just gonna do a step to the right and a crunch. So if you grab your bars. I'm just gonna start in this position and we're gonna take a step to our right and crunch over. Return back to the middle and step to the right. Nice little bend. Okay. okay. That's it. So just keep the bar a little bit in front of you, Jay. Good. And step to the right, a little crunch. Just hold the bar where you feel is comfortable, guys. Some of the bigger guys probably hold it more wider and the shorter people a little bit down or in wood more. Good. That's it. Right the way over, Suze. That's it. Really feel that stretch down the side, guys. Excellent. Going for around about six repetitions each side. Okay, so moving over to the other side. Just shuffle up this way a little bit. And step into the left, bending, and back inward. So remember, guys, when you step outward, really get the knees over the toes into that position. This foot stays forward, the leg you're stepping with bends. Okay, so it suits right the way over as far as you can go, good. 
Okay, excellent. So you'd like to put your flexi bars down and grab your weight plates. We're gonna do a squat with a shoulder press. We're gonna make it slightly funkier. So we're gonna go down, push up with one side, return back down, and push up with the other side. Okay. All right, Jay, so you're just gonna get elbows out. That's good, hold them back there. Breathe in, squat down. Up your raise, good. Nice little raise to the front. So let's get down as low as you can. Really make those legs work. Good, guys. That's it, Suze, dropping down. Going for around about five repetitions each arm, guys. So 10 squats in total. That's it, Suze, sit right back into it. Weight through your heels. Okay. Excellent. Keeping just one plate, we're going to go into a tricep kickback. This really is one of the best exercises for the back of the arm, guys. So, one foot forward, leg on the thigh, leaning forward, almost like you're playing snooker. And you're going to keep your elbow tucked in and extend the arm. So, it should only be movement from the elbow down to the hand. Okay, just take a little pause at the top of the motion. All right. You're going to start with the left hand. Mm -hmm. So whatever, whatever way you're um, comfortable holding it, I mean, some people prefer to hold it like so. But if that's better for you, no problem. It won't make any difference at all. It's a matter of comfort. Okay, Jay. Just going to come in up. If you want to get more of a workout on the front leg, you can take your hand away and you get more load going through the right leg. Or if you don't, you can put it back. Help you out. <laughs> Good. That's just a little hold. Really see that working here? Just keep the elbow tucked in, Joe. I know it wants to jut out. That's great. Okay, around about six repetitions each side we're going for here, guys. Good, Suze, that's it. Just keep your position there. Elbow tucked in, little pause. Okay, Suze. Good kid. Spinning round, opposite leg, opposite hand. All right, bowing forward. Just lift your elbow look slightly inward and then extend from there, see? Nice and straight, little hold. Good, coming back down. How's it feel? Yeah, it's good. Yeah? In the back of the arm? Yeah. Cool. That's it, good. So it's nice and controlled, Just holding it there. Good. Few more reps, guys. Okay, fantastic. Good, good. That's one circuit down, so we're just going to go back to the first exercise. If you'd like to grab a weight plate, and we're just going to go back to the lunge with rotation, which is like this. Show you that from the side quickly. Okay, Jay? Cool. Get around about 10 repetitions each side with this, guys. All right, Jay, so lunge with me. And rotate down. That's it. Really rotate as far as you can around. Really stretching out those muscles, toning the opposite side. Good, Jay. So follow the plate round. Again, guys, the legs are starting to burn this time around. You don't have to go as low into the movement. You should do more of a half lunge coming to about there. Or well, those of you who are feeling brave can go right down, a little hold, pulse, and then rotate as well. Okay, you're not feeling brave yet, no? Not just yet. <laughs> okay, fantastic. All right, Suze, keep it real, yeah? Last boo. Let's go. Down. Good. That's it, nice and controlled. Okay, so just be careful with the front of your foot, Suze. It's going out to the side. Just keep it nice and in line, so knee over the toes. Excellent, that's it. Very important, guys, that the knee goes right over the toes during this movement. Don't have the foot outward or inward or let the knee fall in or out. Just keep it nice and aligned. And all of those ligaments working equally, not one stretching and the other one going another way, etc. Good, Sid. Fantastic. 
Okay, for the next one, I'm going to grab the flexi bar and we're going to shake to the side. And when we get ready, we're going to lift one foot off the ground and keep shaking in that position there. Okay, Jay. So if you'd like to set your clocks to 30 seconds and let's shake. That's it, and the foot comes off. Gear. You want to add a little bit of spice to this, Jay. You can lift your left leg to the side. Get those muscles working there as well. If you want to add a little bit more spice to it, you can go over to the side as well. You feeling spicy? <laughs> like a curry. Good man. <laughs> 10 more seconds left, guys. Hang in there. Good, Suze. And five more seconds left. Hang in there, so a few more seconds. And relax. Excellent, guys. Good, Jay. Fantastic. That's good. Nice bit of variation in that one there. Okay. I might keep this one a bit more simple. You're going to keep this one a bit more simplistic, yeah? Okay. Those of you who want to keep it simple here, more there, even more there. <laughs> okay, set your clocks to 30 seconds and we're off. Yeah, keep it nice and firm, just a slight bend in that left knee. Good, Susie. Sit. Very good, nice and steady, keep it ticking over. And 10 seconds left, everyone. Good, Jay, nice and steady. Five seconds left. Last few seconds. And relax, good. Stuff Suze, Jay, that's great. Well done, everyone. Keep it with the flexi bar. We're going to do the step and crunch. Right, Suze, I'm gonna come on top of you, don't worry. You all right, you good? Okay, step in, crunching over, and returning back. I missed you. All right, cool, let's go again. Okay, Jay. All right, so, they're quite tall, wider grips, more comfortable. And nice and low. Also, guys, if you want to add a bit of variation to this as well, as you step, you can come here, perform a couple of repetitions down at this level, and then come back. Good, that's it. Around about six repetitions each side, guys. If you feel like you can do more, do go on to 10, and then back the other way for 10. Okay, over to the other side. Good, Suze. Keep the knee over the toes when you step out, that's it. Very important, we keep the knee alignment good. Good work guys, just a few more repetitions. That's it. Stretching out. Excellent, good job, well done everyone. Okay, next if we grab the weight plates, just going to go back into the squat with the shoulder press, which was like this. Okay, let's give it a whirl. Ready for action? All right, good. Let's give you a nice low squat, down to 90 degrees, up, raise to the front. Good. That's it. Going for around 10 repetitions with this one. That's it, Suze. Again, guys, a common mistake is when you come down with the squat, your arms will want to drop forwards to keep them in this position. And when you come up, you move upwards and return back to where they were. None of this moving to the front. Good, Jay. Fantastic. Okay, guys, we can lose one of the weight plates. We keep one out. Making the grip like so. Thumb through, fingers the other side. I'm going to lunge out. Come into this position and extend. Over to you, Jay. Okay, so nice lunge out, that's it. Keeping good spine alignment. Eyes should be down, nice and in line with the spine. Only from here to here moves, okay. 
a little hold. Yeah. Going for around five repetitions each side. It's a nice sculpting movement for the back of the arms, guys. That's it. Again, if you want to get a bit of a leg workout in there, you can take the hand off. I put more emphasis on the front of the thigh. Or if you don't, stay where, right where you are. Okay. You alright there, Suze? Yeah. Good. That's it. Just bring your elbow in slightly a bit more. That's good. And if you lean a little bit more forward from me, if you can, that's great. Okay. That's it. A little hold. Feel that in there. Do you feel that there? Mm -hmm. Good. A few more. Fantastic. Okay, you put your weight plates down, guys. We can go into a bit of CV now.